Hey everybody, this is Jason, the science outreach manager and life science educator here at the Children's Museum Houston. I am inside the Power Science Lab and I'm going to do a fat testing experiment brought to you by Texas Children's Hospital. Let's have some real talk about fat for a moment. Fat gets a bad rap. It's actually one of the four macromolecules essential for life. They are fat, proteins, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids, which are either DNA or RNA. So you need fat. The trouble with fat is, is oftentimes we eat the wrong kinds of fat. There are different types of fat. Let's start with the bad ones. We often eat what's called saturated fat which comes in things like butter and oils and cookies and yummy stuff like that. We also too often eat trans fat, which is like fried food. Those two types of fats, we should either avoid altogether, which would be the trans fat, or use very sparingly, which would be the saturated fat. On the other hand, there are really, really, really good fats. There are monounsaturated fats, which you would find in like avocado, good stuff. You'd find that in nuts, lots of different types of nuts. And then there is polyunsaturated fat, which would be found like in fish oil. So if you're going to eat a fatty meat, fish is the best way to go. Okay. So the whole idea behind fat is to actually eat the good kind and avoid the bad kind. And that's what you have to start to think about. You gotta find that balance. Now, even though fat is essential for us to live, it still should be the lowest percentage of food we eat when it comes to those macromolecules. The highest percentage should be carbohydrates. 45% or higher should be our carbohydrates. And carbohydrates is what provides us with our energy. Next would be like protein. And you can go maybe up to, you know, 35% on protein. And that helps you with like your muscles, you know, it makes you strong, keeps your body in shape. And then 20% is about the limit we should have on fat. Now, why is fat essential for us? Let's say you're running a marathon, 26.2 miles. You carb up, right? You eat a bunch of spaghetti, you eat a bunch of rice, whatever. At the beginning of that race, you have lots of good energy from your carbohydrates and you're going and going and going. But about mile 10, you start to lose your energy. What happens? Your fat is stored in your cells. It is released from your cells. It goes into your bloodstream and gives you that boost of energy you need. So fat, if used correctly, is absolutely necessary for good health. Now, what we're going to do today is test some different products and see how much fat content they have. You might actually, ahead of the game, know which one is which, but it's still fun to test these things. So, we have vegetable oil right here. We have almond milk right here. We have a weird banana water solution right here. You might be thinking to yourself, why banana water? Well, if I had mixed it with milk or something like that, it would be a little off on the fat. I want to see how much fat is in the banana. And then we have whole milk here. And this red stuff over here is called Sudan 3. And this red stuff, when applied to these different uh, liquids, will attached to the fat so that we can see them. So what I'm going to do in the experiment is I'm going to put them inside these test tubes. I'm going to add Sudan 3. I'm going to whirl them up and we're going to see what happens. So let's start this experiment. Now remember everybody, science can be fun, but it can also be dangerous. This is strictly a demo for you all. You're not going to be able to get the Sudan 3, but Let's say you can talk your teacher into getting some Sudan 3 and doing this experiment at class. You also want to make sure that anybody who gets near the Sudan 3 puts on a pair of safety goggles. You don't want to get into your eye. Have a lab coat if you can and put gloves on because it can stain your hands. I'm going to put my gloves on. You'll see them when I start to do the experiment. Okay, to do this experiment, I'm going to start with a test tube. And I'm going to do the oil really quickly. So I'm going to open it up. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab my oil and I'm gonna pour 10 milligrams of oil into the test tube. I went a little over, but that's okay. Now, I'm gonna hold the test tube right here. Y'all can see that? I'm getting a pipette full of Sudan 3 and I'm going to squirt that inside. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the top on. I got to move my fingers a little bit. And as you can see, already the Sudan 3 is attaching itself to lipid molecules, those little globules. Those are lipid molecules or fat molecules, but if I do this, you can see more and more of them. So as I agitate this more and more, you can see more and more little globules, little fat molecules attaching itself to the Sudan 3. And that's showing you a high content of fat. Obviously vegetable oil is pretty much nothing but fat. So there's a lot of attachment. Now, I've already poured my other um, liquids into the test tubes. So we're just gonna really quickly test them. So right here, we have the banana solution. Just gonna go ahead and put some of this in there. And you actually don't see much of anything happening already. Nothing's really happening. As I turn it, it's kind of floating on top of the water banana solution. So we would probably say with this one, not much fat in the banana. Maybe a little bit, it's attaching here and there, but not much. Now, the whole milk. Go ahead and untwist that. And it's actually just moving right into the milk. I can see lots of little bubbles attaching, but it's moving right into it. So it's actually getting a little bit like thicker as we go. Okay, and then finally, we're gonna do the almond milk. And again, not much is happening. It's sort of staying on the top, maybe a little bit. There's a little bit of fat, you see a little bit coming down there attaching, but not like those big globules like you saw in the vegetable oil and not mixing nearly as quickly as you saw in the whole fat milk. Now that's a fun experiment, isn't it? What's really cool about this experiment is you can do different things. Let's say you do talk your teacher into doing this experiment in class. You could actually test milk in many different ways because there's whole milk, there's 2% milk, there's 1% milk, there's non-fat milk, there's all kinds of different types of milk. So just that alone, you can iterate so much, try different things. And if you do this, if you somehow can do this in your class, perfectly safe with goggles and gloves, go ahead and take some pictures and put them up on our social media sites. We have it all, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We'd love to see the experiments you conducted. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, it's that red button. If you do that, you will be notified about all the cool videos we have, including Mr. Ozo Wow Moments, our story times and other science stuff, and our Tater Tots Tot Tunes. With that, I am going to say my farewell. Once again, I am Jason. This wonderful experiment is being brought to you by Texas Children's Hospital. I hope you're all well. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.